My name is Adrienne Guidaboni and I live in Seabrook, New Hampshire. I had gone in for a routine mammogram and that's when they, they discovered that I had breast cancer. When I went in for the mammogram, I, you know, I just thought it was going to be a routine screening. And when I got diagnosed with that, it was kind of a, a punch to the gut. I was not expecting that. But thank God I had a really good support team here at Portsmouth and uh, they helped me through that. My name is Lauren Thompson and I'm the breast surgical oncologist at Portsmouth Regional Hospital and the medical director of the breast center here. The cancer word is a very scary word. On average, one in eight women will develop a breast cancer over the course of their lives. Most people, you know, think that a cancer diagnosis is something that is imminently putting their life at risk. When in reality, breast cancer has never been more curable than it is today. We have amazing treatments for women at all stages of disease, but more and more women are finding their tumors sooner through the amazing advances we've had in screening imaging. So Adrienne came in for screening imaging, which meant that she didn't feel anything wrong with her breasts. She had no idea that there was gonna be something that was found on her imaging, which is how most women are diagnosed. Initially, I didn't have a clue. I had no idea even how to approach treating this. I didn't know if I would need radiation, chemotherapy. I had no clue how we were gonna take this head on and, and, and cure it. And so that's where Darlene and Dr. Thompson came in. They, they set me down, they showed me the options, answering every question that my husband and I had. Dr. Thompson, um, just an amazing woman, she came in with such a gung-ho attitude of, we're gonna beat this, we're gonna get this done together. Darlene Tassinari was the nurse navigator and helped to set up the appointments for me to be there with me during the treatment. So the two of them just made an amazing team. There are two basic kinds of breast surgery. There are mastectomies, where we remove the entire breast, and lumpectomies, where we're able to remove just the tumor and a room of normal tissue around it. That allows a woman to save her breast, and it's called breast conserving surgery. We talked about the fact that for her, both were perfectly safe cancer surgeries. Her survival was the same, whether she chose a lumpectomy or mastectomy. And so given those great odds, she decided to go with a lumpectomy, which is much less invasive, much easier to recover from. The traditional method of finding the tumor when it isn't palpable, meaning I can't feel it with my hands, is to place a wire into the breast in the morning of surgery. The wires can move, they can be displaced. It's a logistical hassle for our operating room. What we do here is something called a wire-free solution. At the time of the biopsy, we were able to place a little reflector for eventual surgery because the area was so concerning. We knew it was gonna come out no matter what. That extra clip is a reflector for a radar signal that I have in a little wand in the operating room. It clicks and beeps and says, you know, go here, go there. The best part about it is then I'm able to move my incision to some place that's a little more cosmetically appealing. It's very important to me that women have good cosmetic outcomes because the survival numbers are extraordinary for breast cancer. And that means that women are gonna live with these scars for a long time. I think this hospital is an extraordinary resource for the Seacoast community. I think that we have everything that you could ask for where patients can have all of their doctors talk to each other every day, multiple times a day. And so you're getting personalized, coordinated care with cutting edge technology and doctors who are at the front lines of all of the newest advances in breast cancer therapy. Uh, you know, it's funny, you, you come in, and you know, you're a patient, and you're being treated medically, but the genuine care that they have for you, not just as a patient, but as a person, your emotional health as well as your, your physical health. When you're diagnosed with something like breast cancer, you think worst case scenario, you think you're going to die. You think of all of the things that you've left unfinished and what you wanted to do with your life and, and you think, oh my God, it's gonna end so quickly. But that wasn't the case. There's so much hope and so many positive treatments that can be be done to help cure you of this horrible illness. And I was lucky, you know, I, I have Dr. Thompson and 
I would absolutely recommend Portsmouth over going to Boston, any other place. This place is amazing. It's close by, it's personal, they care about you, the entire person. I can't recommend Portsmouth enough.